In this video, we are going to discuss the advanced boot options in Windows 7. To help follow along, click the link below the video to view or print the show notes. The advanced boot options are a group of troubleshooting tools that can be used to get your computer going again if it won't start normally. Some examples of when these options may come in handy include when your computer becomes infected with a virus or malware, a new driver or update causes your computer to crash, or the blue screen of death appears when you try to start your computer. Getting to the Advanced Boot Options menu can be a little tricky. When your computer first turns on, hold down the F8 key on your keyboard until the Advanced Boot Options menu appears. If you get an error about a stuck key, try rapidly pressing and releasing the F8 key until the menu appears. You may need to restart or shut down the computer and try a few times before it works. Now that we're at the Advanced Boot Options menu, let's go down the list and explain each of the available options. Note that the arrow keys are used to highlight your selection and the Enter key selects the highlighted options. The default option, if the recovery tools are installed, is Repair Your Computer. If the recovery tools are not installed and Repair Your Computer does not appear, you can access them by booting from a Windows installation disk if you have one. You can also boot from a system repair disk if you created one. For more information on that, watch the video Creating a System Repair Disk. Selecting Repair Your Computer will load the System Recovery option screen with options for Startup Repair, System Restore, Recovering your computer by using a system image, a memory diagnostic tool, and an option to use the command prompt. To learn more about these options, check out the Backup, Restore, and Recovery category on the left side of the HelpfulVideoTips.com website. The next group of options all deal with Safe Mode, in which Windows loads with only the essential drivers and services. As the name suggests, Safe Mode with Networking also loads the drivers and services necessary for Internet access. Safe Mode with Command Prompt will skip the graphical user interface that you're used to seeing and only present a command prompt. This option requires you to manually type commands on a command line, so it is recommended for advanced users. Enable Boot Logging creates the ntbootlog.txt file, usually in the Windows folder off of the C drive which contains a list of all the drivers that loaded as well as the ones that did not load during the startup process. Enable Low Resolution Video 640x480 boots Windows in a very low screen resolution by today's standards. This is useful if no video appears when Windows starts and you suspect the resolution settings are too high. Last known good configuration, Advanced, can be useful if your computer booted previously but will not now. The configuration settings used will be the ones that were saved the last time your computer was successfully shut down. In theory, if your computer crashes after a new driver is installed or the registry is corrupted, this option will roll back the changes to settings that worked previously. Directory Services Restore Mode, Debugging Mode, and Disable Driver Signature Enforcement are all advanced options that are beyond the scope of this video. If Windows is stuck in a loop where it attempts to boot, crashes, and then tries to boot again, Disable Automatic Restart on System Failure will keep Windows from restarting when an error occurs. Finally, Start Windows Normally will attempt to boot Windows as you would normally. If you would like more in-depth information on any of these topics, visit the Windows website by clicking the link shown here. In this video, we reviewed how to use the advanced boot options in Windows 7. Please consider supporting HelpfulVideoTips.com on Patreon. You can give as little as $1 per month, and every dollar really helps. There are even rewards based on the amount you're able to give. Thank you. The show notes for this video are available by clicking the link below the video. Please help to support HelpfulVideoTips.com by subscribing to this YouTube channel and visiting HelpfulVideoTips.com to follow along on social media. I'm Tom Sutton. Thank you for watching.